Good morning, beloved. I hope that you find yourself well here this Wednesday. Uh, thanks for devoting your own for a few days. Um, I went up to Rainbow Trail to be with our partners in ministry there at staff training. Uh, and then Benny and I spent a night out in the escape dunes, at the great sand dunes on our way home yesterday. Um, so good to be with you this morning. Start my day out here with a little of God's word with you you'd like or whenever you find your way to this we share a devotion from Christ in our home today we're invited to the gospel of John to hear another uh, healing Sabbath story as we continue to reflect on Sabbath gift this uh, from chapter 5 I'll meet you there and we'll read uh, it's a longer little bit so we'll get going read along if you'd like or just listen here and let God's word wash over you after this there was a festival of the Jews and Jesus went up to Jerusalem now in Jerusalem, by the Sheep Gate, there was a pool, called in Hebrew, Bethsaida, which has five porticos. In these lay many invalids, blind, lame, and paralyzed. One man was there, who had been ill for thirty-eight years. When Jesus saw him lying there, he knew that he had been there a long time. He said to him, Do you want, me, you, do you want to be made well? The sick man said, answered him, Sir, I have no one to put me into the pool when the water is stirred up, and while I am making my way, someone else steps down ahead of me. Jesus said to him, Stand up, take your mat, and walk. At once the man was made well, and he took up his mat and began to walk. Now that day was a Sabbath. So the Jews said to the man who had been cured, Is it the Sabbath? It is not lawful for you to carry your mat. But he answered them, The man who made me well said to me, Take up your mat and walk. They asked him, Who is the man who said to you, Take up and walk? Now the man who had been healed did not know who it was, for Jesus uh, had disappeared in the crowd that was there. Later Jesus found him in the temple and said to him, See, you have been made well. Do not sin any more, so that nothing worse happens to you. The man went away and told the Jews that it was Jesus who had made him well. Therefore, the Jews started persecuting Jesus because he was doing such things on the Sabbath. But Jesus answered them, My father is still working, and I also am working. For this reason, the Jews were seeking all the more to kill him, because he was not only breaking the Sabbath, but was also calling his God his own father, thereby making himself equal to God. Word of God, word of life. May it be so for you today as we ask these questions together with our devotion uh, writer here in Christ in our home. If you want to continue reading along in devotion, it invites our focus to the sixth verse that we encountered in the middle of that, where Jesus said to the man, do you want to be made well? Jesus gets right at the heart, to the heart of the matter with the man who had been sick for years, asking him a direct question regarding his sickness. Jesus wants wants healing and wholeness for this man and for all people. But healing comes in different forms. We can learn from Jesus' approach, Jesus' approach here, how to lovingly care for our friends who are hurting. Often it is better to ask than to assume that they want and need what they want and need from us. While we may not have the ability to cure another's illness or relieve their suffering, we can notice their pain and show up. Jesus' behavior toward the man beside the pool of Bethsaida teaches us when we see someone in need to ask questions and not be afraid of the answer. It may be as specific as, could you make me some tomato soup? Or as vague as, I don't know, but thanks for asking. It might be, please pray with me, or even, I need to be alone. In any case, we entrust our loved ones and neighbors to Jesus' healing hands invitation to pray together here this morning healing god wrap your arms around those in need help us to be your hands and feet for them amen and as this day unfolds before you be invited to continue as i know you do in prayer for palestine and israel and our middle east siblings uh, be invited to lift up in prayer the lutheran world federation augusta victoria hospital there in jerusalem God, continue to bless you and hold you as your journey unfolds together. Uh, it's a blessing to share with you. I'm at home this morning because we have a dentist 
the kids have dentists. I have an orthodontist appointment coming up, so we're all kind of getting ready here. Come here, London, come here. Here's, this is the newest addition of our family from about a month ago. London. She's a corgi mix. <laughs> Smaller than Chai, but so cute. Had to earn the dog socks that Margie got me, huh? God be with you, beloved, and we'll see you along the way.